Thank you, President. Here, we've been talking about reciprocity, but if, if, if reciprocity is asymmetrical, then it isn't really reciprocity. Now, if we're talking, looking at the issue of SWIFT, for example, and all sorts of data being compiled, I mean, this means that we're handing over lots of data to the United States. And here, now we're dealing with a fee on tourism, which really isn't going to promote tourism and people traveling to the United States, but we're not trying to America bash here. I, I really am a huge admirer of the United States, and we just need to look at what the powers that be in that country are deciding. I think, first of all, we need to look at the mindset that, is, that prevails here in Europe, too. When it came to the SWIFT agreement, the European delegation in Washington spent a great deal of time apologizing again and again, and apologizing for what the European Parliament voted on by way of SWIFT. And here, we wanted to defend 500 million citizens. That's what we were about. And obviously, we have to go back to the issue of reciprocity, but how is it being applied? We're talking about reciprocity in this particular issue. If we really want to have true reciprocity for individual countries, then, all right, you have to look at the security of Brazilian citizens in the United States. And if you look at what happened in Brazil, you'd see the same issues were at stake. And what we have to do is make sure that there's greater respect of the transatlantic...